Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This vlog is going to be a come shop with me, but groceries edition. Today, Josh and I are heading to our favorite fish shop. Also, they sell some amazing high quality products. So we're gonna take you there. I'm gonna go do the normal food shop. I have planned our meals. Um, kind of like dinners for the next like three or four days or so um, so we're gonna do that and yeah come along for the ride I also want to interject that it is also New Year's Eve so I have to do this as quickly as possible before the close before the stores close um, but yeah and I'm wearing a rented outfit from a website called the devout which I'm trying out, and that's kind of one of my New Year's resolutions. <laughs> Josh, hold in our drinks. We're at Life of Fish. Super noisy. There's a line next door for the... Wow, this is so bitty. Bitty? Basically a meal. So that. It's like drinking soup. It's thick. Bitchy soup. Um, but we're gonna pick up some oysters and stuff for tonight. The octopus, or clams, or mussels. What's that? So we have just picked up all the fish for our sushi making, and some salmon roe. Um, and we got two pieces of tuna. Fat pieces of tuna. <laughs> two pieces of tuna. Um, two pieces of salmon. And ten oysters, which is not for the sushi. Um, and then we need to get the sushi rice. What else? You want us to make spicy Crispy tuna? onion. Crispy onions. Seaweed? Get the, get the Prosecco in the fridge. What do you think about seaweed? Champagne in the fridge. Yep, champagne in the fridge. Yeah, we get some seaweed. Um, those ones, they come in squares. Oh, they have oh you want soup. those ones? Yeah. Okay, I can get those because they actually sell the Itsu ones at the supermarket. Um, and then I think what we're going to do is get it so that it, or make it so that it's all ready for later when we have dinner um, so that we don't have to do anything later, right? And yeah, how's your smoothie now? Josh is still making his way. Not I don't good. know why. Tell me why. It's horrible. I won't have it again. <laughs> he said he had to get his six pound fifty worth, but I paid for it, so <laughs> he doesn't want to waste it. Let's go. Ready? <laughs> from the second shop. After the fish shop, we came home, unpacked that stuff, which is oyster, salmon, and tuna, and I'll show you. And then just had like an hour of downtime and ate some lunch. And then we needed to go back out before the stores closed tonight, because it's New Year's Eve, and get at least some food for tomorrow, because I had made a meal plan, but the store was actually out of like, I'd say, 75% of the stuff that I wanted to get. So we had to make do. 
Um, and I, I'm just gonna unpack what we did get and then we're gonna get ready for some sushi week. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna actually open it, but they're so good and so cute. Sorry, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. We're back. <laughs> um, these are so good, but they only had sweet soy and sea salt. So I'm actually gonna do a taste test. Josh will be annoyed because he wanted to eat these also, but I guess I can share with him. But yeah, so this is what they look like. They're these, I'm gonna get it to focus on that. Why won't it focus? They're like seaweed sheets and they're flavored, I guess. And this one, sweet soy and sea salt. Sweet soy and sea salt flavored crispy seaweed thins. That is a tongue twister. Mmm. Mmm. Vegan, high in vitamin B12. Hi and iodine. These are very tasty. And yeah, I would actually recommend. Normally we just get the regular like salted ones, but sweet soy and sea salt is delicious. So it's been a couple days since our last shop and the reason for that I probably should have waited to talk until after before that but the reason for that is on Sunday I woke up with the most excruciatingly painful bloating that I've had in so so long and basically couldn't really do much so I have just been doing nothing watching movies on Netflix all day I've made my way through quite a lot of movies and I ate white bread with butter, toasted yogurt and miso soup and that's pretty much it. It's been, it was really painful um, and I did yoga twice this morning. I have woken up, it's now Tuesday so it's been two days. I've woken up and I feel so much better. I'm gonna be really cautious with my diet today, but I'm gonna go do a little bit of shopping, get a turmeric latte, I'm gonna have hot water with lemon and ginger now, and then I'm gonna get a move on. I wanted to film two recipes today for my Instagram, but it's pouring like very gray outside and horrible, so I'm really not sure. Sorry, I'm looking out the window. There's a window behind you. So, I'm really not sure, um, but I will have my other YouTube video going live today, which is exciting. That's a KitchenAid chopper unboxing review and comparison. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. And this grocery shop trip is not going to be the one that's with the ones that you'll have seen just because I was so unwell. Um, but I will take you along to Planet Organic today because that's where I'm going to be going. So anyway, I'm gonna get on with my tea now.
I'm back home now and I can get everything out. I'm gonna show you. So this, what's in this bag is what I got at Planet Organic and what's in this bag is what I bought at Waitrose today. I have lots of supermarkets near me, but I just decided to go into Waitrose rather than Sainsbury's or Aldi or M&S today, um, just because I knew that they had the carrots that I wanted. Um, so let's get everything out and I'll show you what I got. So this is all the stuff that I got at um, Planet Organic. Sorry, my head's gonna be cut off because I wanted to be able to show you on the counter. Um, but I got two organic cauliflowers. I have two recipes that I'm gonna be making and sharing on my Instagram that need cauliflower. So I thought I would get some nice organic ones. Planet Organic has really nice organic produce. So I just thought definitely gonna get those ones. Some celery, I broke this off in the store. I don't know why, while well, it was in the bag. Um, I can't even tell you, their celery is so good, I don't know where it's from, um, but it's organic celery as well. And I don't know if you can see, but it just looks so nice. It's delicious. I would probably eat that with peanut butter right away. Oatly cream, I absolutely love them, and they were on sale for 95p each. I got some coconut cream, and I think... I think I'm gonna be using this in a mac and cheese. Coconut water, because we have, oh, that's in focus, because we have um, a Mindful Chef smoothie uh, that I saved, like a smoothie mix. It's like spinach and mango and avocado, and I like to use coconut water when I make those. Can't tell you. These stock cubes, oh, the doorbell's going. I forgot where it was. <laughs> Sorry, the doorbell went and then it was someone that we knew and ended up chatting. It was freezing. Um, but I, I think I was telling you about the stock cubes, which are my... Ah, is it going to focus? Absolute favorites. I love these organic stock cubes. I don't know if I'm going to say the brand right, but it's called Kalo. Kayo. Um... But yeah, so I picked up the veggie ones, which we use normally, veggie or chicken. Um, the umami ones, which I haven't seen before, but I thought, why not? It looks like mushrooms, tomato, and onion. Maybe that would be good for like a pasta sauce, tomato-based dish. And then the garlic and herb ones. There we go. And so that was the stock cubes. And then lastly, I picked up, these are one of my favorite um, CBD drinks, the MetaHuman ones. Josh has already had one as soon as I got home. So we got Energy Relax, Glow, and Recover. And Josh drank the Recover one, which is like Nori flavor. And then I just picked up some cashews as well, because those are gonna go into a sauce. So that is the plant organic stuff. I also picked up this, it's Veganuary. I'm not doing properly Veganuary, but I'm going to be doing some vegan recipes and trying to um, be more mindful about my diet. Also try some vegan alternatives. I think it's a great opportunity to just try them. So I picked up this Violife. Um, it is a, they call it a Prosociano wedge. It's basically supposed to be like Parmesan, I feel like. So that should be good from Waitrose. Now, let me move this stuff back. I got, oh, just knocked it over. One of my favorite cleaning brands is eCover. We use their laundry detergent and their um, dish soap. And I thought I would try the hand wash as well. I haven't seen these before, but um, I really like all their stuff. So picked up that, grabbed some toothpaste, Sensodyne and a new toothbrush because mine looks a bit haggard. And some, this is the same brand as the stock cubes, but these are just rice cakes. I had some really bad bloating like the past two days, which I may have mentioned at the beginning of this, like shopping haul, not really a haul, showing you my shopping. And so I'm trying to take it easy for like another day or so. So I thought rice cakes with like peanut butter or something easy, just butter will be easy on my stomach. Then I also got Sanex. Josh has sensitive skin and I also don't love to use 
like really strong scented products in the shower. So I picked some of this up. It was actually on sale. That's exciting. And then kale. This is tarragon, basil, chives, more basil, some dairy-free yogurt. And I didn't realize they did dairy-free options. Um, so for January, that's ideal. I've also just been eating yogurt to kind of help with my gut situation. Um, and this passion fruit one is really nice. It has like fresh pas passion fruit at the bottom. These were the carrots that I wanted, these fancy carrots and these ones. So just put those there. Peanut butter, some vegan cheese. This is the Applewood brand. Josh's mom is vegetarian and buys it. And she says it's nice. So I thought we'd give that a go. Some pasta. This one was just like a really nice small penne shape. And then this one, which is a favorite, it's just like a fusilli pasta, I think. Yeah, but it's really tight, um, tightly wound, I guess, but uh, tightly twisted. Nush, uh, vegan cream cheese. It's a creamy almond milk spread. And I've had their chive one, which is nice, so I thought we'd try the regular one too. And that is everything. And I'm gonna get all this put away in our tiny fridge. And yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when I've organized the fridge because I love some good fridge organization. Although our fridge is tiny, it's still nice to have it organized. So I'll show you the fridge. Sorry if you hear any noise in the background. I turned on the oven and then decided I wasn't gonna make anything in the oven and just made the sandwich because my stomach, so <laughs> that's fun. Um, hopefully you can't hear that noise too much. But so this is our fridge. I don't really show it much because it's so tiny, but we've got like veggies and stuff down here. This is all dairy stuff, like cheeses, yogurts. There's a few drinks in here for some reason. And then over here is more veggies, some of my coconut water, coconut milk, the MetaHuman CBD drinks, and all of our like condiments kind of thing. These other two stock cube like packs, I'm just gonna slide in here and pop them in the drawer. This is the most organized these drawers have been. We recently got this new sideboard from West Elm. And I'll do a whole video because we got a lot of stuff from West Elm. But I managed to fit everything in here. And look at my spice drawer. It's not satisfying. It's so nice. And then we just have cutlery up here. Our kitchen doesn't have any drawers. So this is super nice. And I'm very happy with this. Thanks so much for being here. Remember to like, subscribe, leave me a comment if you have any questions, ideas, things you'd want to see from me, and I'll talk to you soon.